This is Daisy Bandle with DMG. Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues, picks up not far from where we left off. Ron and Veronica are still together and have a kid, and Veronica gets offered a promotion of a lifetime. Ron tells her that it's her, the job, and knowing what we know about how headstrong Veronica was in the first film, we know which choice she will make. Chaos ensues, and Ron tries, and fails, to kill himself, and almost simultaneously is offered a groundbreaking job at a global news network. Now that we have this set up, we can look at our familiar favorites. What follows should go without saying, spoiler alert. What we liked. As a sequel, the film wasn't half bad. If you went into it with less expectations and more of a desire to just be entertained, then you got what you came for. Brick, Steve Carell, was yet again given some of the best lines. What we didn't like, the god-awful Song to the Shark. Actually, the whole scene involving the lighthouse, Veronica, and the shark. It was long and drawn out, and it wasn't funny. And the song Ron sings to the shark is just painful. Champ's whammy catchphrase was so overdone at one point, it felt like a scene from Family Guy, where they just keep repeating the joke until you have no choice but to laugh. Only whammy is not now, and never was, funny. Ron's fling with his new boss, the black Linda Jackson, while it certainly gave us some good jokes with regards to Ron's apparent racism, their hookup went nowhere, served no one, and was too rushed to make sense. What came back? The epic fight scene, though this time it wasn't as epic, and it was saved for last. The sex panther, though not in the form you would expect. And the jazz flute, however briefly. I'm Daisy Bandle, and you've been watching DMG.